Good morning. Just doing a sound check while we wait. We're going live on Facebook and we'll put this on YouTube directly after. Hello, testing, testing. Yes, we have sold. Awesome, Miss Maximus. There she is. There she is. Julie Tooze is watching. All bright and shiny. Morning, Morning. Julie. Lovely day, about time. Um, I try not to panic because today is the 21st, it's the longest day, and then it's winding down into the winter, and I don't feel like we've winded up yet. Just, just stop right there. <laughs> it's like, off. oh. Carry on. Next time, <laughs> morning to you. Today, <laughs> morning, Julie. Yes, morning, morning, morning. Um, Paddy's just spotted his um, reflection in the mirror look. <laughs> So, um, good week, good week. We've had lots of stock in. I've been to an auction. I've had a dealer come in with lots of bits. And um, we're going shopping again on Monday, aren't we? Sunday. Sunday, yes, that's right, Sunday. I think it's bank holiday on Monday, but it's not. So that's good. A couple of housekeeping notes. We've got another new shop opening up around the corner in Market Street, number three Market Street, called Nicholas Fabrics and Crafts. And um, we've just met her. She's lovely. And she's moving into the shop and she will be opening tomorrow from 9.30 till 5. And she'll have special offers and cake tomorrow. So there's an incentive. I shall be around there just for the cake, if nothing else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we might see if we can get her to pop in next Friday to um, introduce herself and to tell us a little bit about the shop. And um, we mentioned it last week, but the open gardens at Catherine's Farm, that's Catherine's with a K, in Swinney, which is just outside um, Wooten Under Edge, all proceeds to St Peter's Hospice. And it's on Saturday and Sunday, 22nd and 23rd, 12 until 6 p.m. Lovely cream teas and things. And um, he's just the nicest, nicest man. He works his socks off keeping these beautiful gardens. And there's a replica chicken house, the same as Prince Charles's chicken house. And it's all glorious. So if you get a chance to go and see that, it's well worth it. I need to get the light behind me, otherwise you're a bit dark. Oh, I, I think it's better if rookie I'm a bit dark. Rookie mistake. <laughs> so um, I thought we'd march around and show you some of the new bits. As usual, we have literally plucked a few of the things out of the vans. Uh, and they're out on the pavement. And there are a few things, even though I worked my socks off yesterday, I still haven't managed to get them all priced. But we can show you some of them. Let's start with this one. I think this is rather lovely. Um, a really big contemporary mirror. A sort of, can't quite describe the finish. It's almost like a silvery gold or a slightly dirty silver. Hard to say. Um, a slightly bronze finish. But it's really gorgeous and it's on for £155. Simon Meadows. Morning, Simon. Where have you been all our lives? Welcome back. Sexy signs, everybody is in the room as it were um so yes that's a really good piece of mirror and a very good price this i just love this is a wooden imagine this with some little pots of blue bulb hyacinths grape hyacinths in the spring on your kitchen windowsill or herbs made from wood it's got flowers written on both sides a lovely faded sort of turquoise and I think that's beautiful. It just happens to look very nice as well with our succulents in the little terracotta pots that we sell, which we'll show you outside. That's on for $22.95. This we haven't priced up yet. We didn't even know what it was. We thought it was almost like some sort of a weird handbag and it's got this sort of strap over the shoulder. But we have established it's actually a bottle cooler. But we haven't priced it yet. But that's made from cast aluminium. Might be quite nice to have as a picnic-y sort of thing. Um... Mr. Goldman is still with us, which I'm rather pleased about. He is for sale. He's on for £185. And um, he's just gorgeous. And he sits on any sort of chair. We've got a lovely red and gold chair uh, over by our dressing table. And he sits on there beautifully. And he arrived sitting in somebody's car um, like he was an actual real-life human being, which was great. Um, this little table... Cute little table, absolutely nothing wrong with it as it is. Very chunky, you could use it to stand on actually, it's that strong. It's 19.95. would paint beautifully and would also look lovely with a stencil on the top. 
So if you fancy having a go at doing a nice little project. That. Really? I don't think we can charge you, Virginia. <laughs> no, not, I think I I think that would work quite well. Cause not for all got, the voluntary work you do for us. <laughs> I haven't got a little table for the other sofa. So. Oh, there you go then. That looks like that's gone already. <laughs> So then we've got these two beautiful Indian bowls. This one I bought because it's been really beautifully repaired. A very old bowl and two um, repairs to it which keep it all together. And I just thought that was really lovely. I can imagine that on a great big kitchen table. And then we have another one here. Also very old, very heavy Indian with the handles on it. Um, now those came in late last night, I haven't had a chance to price them, but they will go on later on today. These have come in and I need to get them safety pack tested. Um, but what a stonking, big, heavy lamp base with a sort of another silvery bronze. That would go, that would go very well with that mirror, wouldn't it? Because of the color scheme. A nice colored shade as well, very neutral. So that one will be available soon. And this one, which, oh, I'm struggling letting this one go because I love it so much. Um, made from wood, beautifully weathered. I think if somebody had a seaside cottage or something like that and they want something that looks like it's been sun bleached, then this is the one for you. Um, it's got to go and be pat tested. And I'm imagining either a, a very neutral sort of coloured shade or possibly even a black one with the gold on the inside to make it look really striking. That, I think, is a really gorgeous lamp base. Um, there's a, a new china jug that came in. I mean, jugs are jugs, they're, they're not anything too sort of special, but this one is a really good heavy one, $12.95. Great for putting flowers on. A little pair of heavy metal candlesticks here, $14.95 for the pair. Pretty little bit of bird and flower decoration on them. So maybe a little present idea for somebody. Um, Right, should we go down in the other room and then we can go outside and see what we've got outside because there's quite a bit out there. Hang there's on, nothing. I'm just gonna hmm. have to share hmm. this to loads of groups to see if. Uh... Yes, share, share, share. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sorry, everybody, I'm trying to multitask and. You're the queen of multitasking. <laughs> If you're live, you can do an easy share, but after you stop being live, it, uh, it starts being more time-consuming to share. Steps. So, um, still got these two beautiful antique chairs. Absolutely love them. 220 for the ladies, 395 for the gents. They've been traditionally reupholstered up to the top level of calico, so that if somebody then wanted to just put in their top coat, they could. But for me personally, I leave them just as they are. I call them sort of deconstructed. I think they just look absolutely beautiful like that. Um, let's go round this way. We have started. You know how it took me weeks to finish the wardrobe doors. They're all done now, and the wardrobe is on for 250 which I think wow, is really well good value, but they're all sorted. And this is our next project. So yesterday, I took the drawer up to the kitchen and um, sanded it, then took it outside and painted it while I was outside having a coffee. We're going to do the whole thing in this really lovely dark green, which is actually Black Forest from the wall paint range. Wall paint paints furniture beautifully, so if I ever have any left over, I always use it on furniture. And um, then I'm going to put copious amounts of browning wax on the top. But I think we're going to keep the top uh, as it is, or we'll sand it back and re-waxed, because it's pitch pine and it's got a really nice grain on it. But this looks like it's drawers and it is in fact a cupboard there. So um, that's our next project. So let's hope it doesn't take me as long as it took me to do the wardrobe doors. Are you are you all right down there? I'm when she's multitasking. A gazillion, gazillion <laughs> uh, <laughs> projects, so I'll probably get banished or something. There'll probably be a backlash. But who um, knows? Who actually knows? Sorry. That's me. Are you were sorted? Go yes. Ahead. So you've still got the little pink um, antique sofa in, which I think is really pretty. It'd be lovely at the bottom of a bed somewhere or on a landing. That's on for 325 And then I wanted to focus on two things in here. Before I do, look at this big creamery bowl. I showed this to everybody last week. It's on for 154.95. Absolutely gorgeous. That That's is the owner's aesthetic. It is. I just love it. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with it. It's in brilliant... Know. 
what her aesthetic is, it's that oversized. Well, one of them. That's also Fifi's aesthetic. I just absolutely adore those urns. That, that's on for $149.95 for the pair. Really nicely framed and they just look super. Um, the cupboard here, very heavy Indian cupboard with the drawers and the lovely worn metalwork to the front. That's on for two nine five. I just love that lovely worn look. I don't know why that mirror has to go. I would just. I don't know why heartbeat. either. I mean, it's um, it's a garden mirror. It's uh, it, it looks the part. Maybe I need to buy that for my garden. It reminds me of Snow White for some reason. So we wanted to focus on two things this morning because they've been here a while. I have no idea why. Um, they're lovely and they need to go. This little table here with its gorgeous. Have a look at this, Jean. It's really beautifully weathered, um, just lovely. And the marble is brand new. We had this put in because it came without any marble. Um, and so this could be used indoors or outdoors. And it was on for 185. And we've decided today that we will reduce it by 20%, which makes it 148 pounds. And that is a really stylish, heavy, lovely piece of kit. I mean, it would be beautiful in a garden room. What are you looking at? That's a nice table. That's a nice table, but we're not focusing on that one <laughs> today. But we will focus on that next week. We're going to have a Friday focus. And then this one, which I think is absolutely gorgeous, big, heavy, rustic. And if somebody is looking for um, quality, this one is lovely. It's, it's on for 180, but we're going to reduce it by 20% today. Uh, and that will be £144. That would look nice with that lamp base I just bought on it, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Look gorgeous with that. So maybe for somebody who has a seaside type of cottage and wants that sort of faded Everyone weathered look. Everyone in your got a seaside they type have, cottage. They have, or castle. They've always <coughs> got castle, yeah. a seaside cottage or a castle. <laughs> in my dreams, that's what I would like to have. So, um, so those are the two things we're focusing on today. Haven't sold this, which I'm very surprised about. On for $84.95, really heavy cast iron, but with the lovely crest at the back with a thistle on it. So I'm guessing that this is Scottish. So um, still got lots of pots here. We've sold a lot. A lot have come in and replaced it. Um, but let's go and see what we've got outside. Try not to savage anybody today, Pads. Birdcage, still got the birdcage, but I'm very happy about that because I think it just looks fantastic in our window. You don't want to sell anything. Really, I don't want to do sell you? anything really. I love it all too much. I really do. I get quite attached to everything. Let's just start with these two things. These are the things we just got out of the van. If anybody's looking for a really nice bookcase, this is about six feet tall. It's got a drawer. It's absolutely fine as it is. The shelves are solid. They're not, um, what do you call that, movable? Movable? Fixed. Adjustable. Um, but I was thinking that if it was mine, I might leave everything on the inside as the natural wood, but I might just paint the outside and the frame of it. Gorgeous wood though. Isn't, isn't it? it nice? It is nice. It's lovely. But I think it would just give it a lift. Tony Davies says, beautiful day in Wooten. Yes, it is, Tony. Thank you very much for everything you do to promote Wooten. And look, the sun came out as soon as he said that. So that's great. Um, this little French desk came in as well. A stripped oak, very, very elegant little desk. And um, that will be going on today as well. But I just thought that was so pretty with a nice leather top, a nice faded grandeur about that. Love it. Still got the bistro sets. I've got to send some pictures of these to cousin Claire. She's after some. Um, some little wire baskets, which would look nice with little terracotta flowers in them, pots rather. Ten ninety five for the small one. And the bigger one is thirteen ninety five. Got the metal folding plant pot holder, which has six pots um, that you put into it, and that's for $69.95. We've got one left of these. I put three on yesterday. I've only got one left. This is on for $16.95. It's a bit like a sort of a charcuterie board. It's got the handles on the side. You can put all your tapas or your cheeses or cold meats or something and easily take it outside if you want to have a, an alfresco meal. Got a couple of these little boxes left. These are so sturdy, well made, and they're on for $12.95. Got the printing on the side and the metal corners, really nice. 
And this was uh, something that we got in late last night. It's a wall mounted. It doesn't freestand. You have to have it on the wall. Bath um, shelf, 1995. I, it would be lovely in a bathroom, but actually I think that would also work really well with plants on it. And I would just simply paint this or just paint out the bath sign and have lots of just plants hanging on it, indoors or outdoors. Haven't sold this yet, which I'm very surprised about. This is on for 58.95. Little French looking, ornate detailed console table, demi loon. And this would paint beautifully. It's been a bit watermarked on the top, so it's a perfect candidate for having a makeover. And the bits that are further down, which we can't show you, um, we have reduced the chairs with the stripy fabric. Let me just see what they've been reduced to. So we have a set of four of these. Really nice chairs. Don't know why they haven't sold already. Uh, Simon was so engrossed, he burned his toast. <laughs> but we've reduced these yes, to um, $159.95 from $184.95. <laughs> So a nice set of really good chairs there. Hello, my lovely Linda. How are you? I've just told you that I owe you an apology for coming in to see you. Yes, it's not good enough. Well, no, because I think you probably had quite a big part to play in um, the makeover of the kitchen. And I'm very pleased that well, that's a pleasure. No, only because people mention they've seen it. Yes, well, there you go. We have a window full of notices and we try and promote no, no, everybody. I and think what you've done on social media. Yeah. Um, well, thank I'm you so much. Grateful. You're actually on camera right now. Oh, I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we're just doing our Facebook Live to show what new stock is in. No. And that's Paddy Padster. Mm. So um yeah, we'll come in and have coffee. No, and a cup of chat. That would be nice. We've got lots of lovely things in there as well. I might be looking up my way back. Yes, please do call her. That would be lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, darling. Bye. bye bye. So, um that's it, I think, isn't it? Um We'll just take a little picture of the window. I know we get reflections and things, but we've got that amazing fruit bowl, which I just think is stunning. Lots of rivets and things. That's on for $45.95, which is an absolute steal. A really lovely little antique table. It's a repro, but it's still very old and still gorgeous at £120. And the top flips. Beautiful ginger jar up there, which is one of the India Jane ones. And that's on for $59.95. And then our fabulous bird cage, which is just so gorgeous. And that's on for 485. So um, the table that it's on, which is also lovely, is on for 135 with a lovely wooden top and painted base. So we've got some really nice things in at the moment and um, uh, doing our best to get it all priced up. And um, Oh, that was another India Jane thing that came in. I don't think we'd shown you this last week. Uh, this is a beautiful lamp base, $84.95. Lots of crackle glaze, dragonflies, butterflies, vines, all that sort of thing. Just a really nice lamp base. So, if you get the chance to come and say hi, we would love that. And Nick and I are going to be working our socks off today. Lots of things to do. Lots of moving furniture. And Sunday. We'll and Sunday, nice. yes. And um, oh, look who's here! We will get a cousin Claire. Ah, Claire, Claire. We'll video you back afterwards to show you the um, the uh, bistro sets. We've just mentioned you, <laughs> so there you are. And um, yeah, all is well. So good. Have a good week, everybody. We're still collecting um, a second hat. Well, out of date first aid kits and any sort of uh, out-of-date medical supplies to go to Ukraine front line. Um, so non-lethal aid for helping them in their terrible uh, situation that they find themselves in. We've just shipped a large pallet of your donations. Thank you so much to everyone who's donated. It's surprising how many out-of-date um, tablets and, and bandages, plasters, yeah. Anything like that. Somebody they popped even in take yesterday. Old, old, like medical boots and. Do they um, take glasses? I don't know. Probably. Oh, okay. But yes, anything you can uh, contribute, that'd be fantastic. Drop it here or contact Fifi, and I can collect. So uh, yeah, keep it coming and have a good week. Um, See you next week. Stay safe. Have a good weekend, everyone. Bye for now. Take bye. care. Bye bye.